So I'm gonna take this paver here. I'm gonna set this, it really doesn't matter where I set this. The closer I get, the more accurate it'll be to mark. And what I'm doing here is I'm aligning it on this edge. I'm just pulling it back so it doesn't tip forward. If I actually had a little block, piece of block, it would actually be easier. But I'm lining it up here on this side. I'm making it so it's not going to tip over on me. I'm going to then take the scribes, and I'm going to do this backwards a little bit so that I can show you here. But I want to get this distance, this block. Let me move this out of the way for you. you can see this a little better. This block has to move up into this area. So this is the distance this has to move forward. So my scribes is going to do one of two things. Not only going to mark, but it's also going to measure. So I have spacer bars here and here. I want to make sure I accommodate that. I'm going to hold it on that spacer bar. And I'm also going to mark it back here. I just want to make sure I got this right. This is crucial. You want to make sure your distances are right. And then I can tighten this up. So I want to tighten this, double check, make sure the last thing we want is to, uh, I always say measure twice, cut once. So this is an exact measurement and I can double check it on this side. Another thing you want to do is you want to accommodate, and I did, I accommodated just a little bit of space because when this paver is here, we're going to want to allow for a poly sand joint or an easy joint um, joint right here. So I'll open it up about a quarter of an inch just to allow for that. So this is what I want to cut out, this distance. So all I'm going to do, and I have to make sure that this point and this point are parallel to this paver. So when I bring this up, I'm going to be marking here, and I'm going to be able to, with my guide, pick up on every little imperfection. And again, this line is where this hits right here, and that's where I'm going to start marking. So as I come through here, I'm going to just simply run this line in. I'm going to pick back up on it. Picking up on every little imperfection. And again, then when you're running your saw, you can determine just how accurate you want to be on that cut. A lot of times, we'll skim over and just kind of hit our high spots. But if you want to get every little imperfection, you can do that. Now I'm going to tip it up and I'll show you how accurate that mark is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my saw. I'm going to do a nice deep undercut with my saw. I'm going to hit all my high points. Then I can go back through with my saw and I can trim all these little imperfections. And again in here, this is going to be a tricky cut. So I'm going to come in here with the undercut. I'm going to come in here with the undercut. I'll take this meat out of the paver, and then I'll go back through and I'll start trimming and cutting, and then this little V here is exactly what we're seeing right here. So let me cut this, and then we'll show you how it fits right in. So you can see I got lots of detail. And again, people always ask too, using a large cutoff saw, you can see just taking that little bit of meat, hit your high points, do a nice deep undercut. That's how you can get that kind of detail on a saw cut. Now dropping it in, a little bit of luck. And again, pretty nice cut. Um, a lot of times I will use a uh, Sharpie mark, a little bit darker. When you start cutting in the vibration, sometimes your line disappears a little bit. But you can see I'm able to get a lot of detail 
picked up on this here. And again, you can go back through if you want afterwards and trim it. But we want to make sure, again, if, especially if this is a pool, some of the pools, obviously, you want to put foam here to allow for expansion. Um, and then fill that with a, with a type of self-leveling uh, caulking. Otherwise, you can do, obviously, your easy joint um, you know, or polymeric sand. But that's our scribes making cutting and marking easy.